Hey guys, welcome back in CodeSphere. So this is part two of privacy, changing privacy in social media app. Fine guys, so it's part one is uh, uploaded uh, previously. So its link is showing on the top. So you can click on it and watch that first video. And if you have watched, then we can proceed in this video. Fine guys. So in previous tutorial, we have only created this uh, array of string fine. So today before proceeding, what we have to do guys is uh, simply open this privacy activity and uh, here some codes that you have to remove is uh, you can see you have to remove this linear layout and this text view fine and then you have to remove this linear layout fine guys so now you can see that we have this spinner and uh, you know guys now the spinner is not visible but when you will run the app so it will be visible fine guys so now what here you have to do is uh, you have to simply give the margin top and that will be 100 dp done guys so yeah that's fine so after this guys you have to come back in this privacy activity and then we can proceed so here we will declare variables for text view so simply write status underscore tv and then guys you have to declare one for spinner fine then simply write spinner and uh, then guys you have to write button and then button and then firebase firestore db equals to firebase firestore dot get instance fine guys and uh, then for document reference then reference so guys after this what here you have to do is simply you can see that this is app compact activity so here you have to implement adapter view and uh, adapter view dot uh, on item selected listener fine guys now you have to click on this red bulb and then implement methods so enter now we have these two methods fine so here guys inside this on nothing selected you have to show a toast message fine so that will be please select a value fine guys and uh, then what you have to do here is guys we will declare i mean we will give reference fine so simply write button equals to find me by id r dot id dot button btn privacy then semicolon then status tv equals to find you by id r dot id dot TV status fine guys and uh, then after this here you have to write for the spinner equals to find view by id r dot id dot r dot id dot spinner done guys and uh, then semicolon so guys after this we can proceed so here guys now what we will do is uh, we need a user id so simply write firebase user then user equals to firebase auth dot get instance dot get current user and then string is going to be current id equals to user dot get uid done guys then after this here you have to write reference equals to db dot collection and that is going to be user and then document and that is going to be current user id fine guys so after this here what you have to do is uh, initialize array adapter array adapter then array adapter equals to new array adapter fine guys and then here you have to pass the context this and uh, then you have to write android and uh, then you have to decide define the pattern so simply write simple spinner item and uh, guys then you are here you have to pass the array that we have created status fine guys then after this here we will initialize that array adapter fine so here what you have to do is simply write array adapter dot set drop down view resource and again we have to write android dot r dot layout dot simple spinner drop down item then semicolon fine guys so after this here you have to write is a spinner dot set adapter and that is going to be add adapter done guys and here you have to write spinner dot set on item selected listener fine set on item selected listener then you have to pass this done so after this here you have to write is button dot set on click listener then new then on click listener fine guys and here you have to create a method and that is going to be save privacy and uh, we will click on this red bulb create method in privacy activity so now we have this method fine guys 
so after this we can proceed so here you have to simply cut this method from here control plus x and then we will create it uh, just after this fine guys and just before this here you have to write on start fine so now we have this on start method done guys so now here what we will do we will simply write reference dot get add on complete listener new on complete listener fine guys so here simply semicolon and uh, yes so after this here what you will do is that if task dot get result dot exist so we will get the privacy fine so privacy underscore result equals to task dot get result dot get string that is going to be privacy and for this guys you have to open this create profile activity and here you have to check so guys here you can see that this is profile dot put privacy so you can see that this uh, privacy is p and the p is a uh, small fine so you have to give the same so guys you can see that the privacy is retrieving here fine and after retrieving it we will show we will show this in this uh, status tv so simply write uh, privacy result so what is this status tv so guys this is a uh, text view this is the status tv fine here you can see the id tv status fine so we will show the current status of the account in that text view fine and uh, in this part you can show that uh, error done so guys after this what here you have to do is uh, we come we are complete in this on start so after this simply come inside this method save privacy so here you have to write is simply write final that is going to be string and uh, value equals to spinner dot get item selected get item get selected item dot to string done and uh, then here you have to write is that if value equals to then you have to come above here and then simply copy this value choose any one control plus c then guys here you have to come back and here guys we will pass that value and uh, if it is equals to choose any one then we will show a toast message fine and uh, if it is equals to so we will show a toast message that please select a value please select a value fine guys and uh, if it is not null so we can proceed so here simply what we will do is uh, we have to copy the codes again so you can copy this uh, current user id codes from here fine so simply copy it so here you have to copy it done guys so after this what here you have to do is uh, we have to simply write so we can copy the code from this update profile fine guys so here you have to simply come in this update profile and then simply copy this and uh, yeah till this uh, failure listener then guys after this you have to paste that codes here done so now you can see that everything is pretty fine but you have to remove this uh, current id done guys and uh, you have to remove also these four points so here i will give uh, privacy and that is going to be value fine and uh, then you have to just simply remove this toast message you have to show that uh, status updated and uh, here you have to show the status there is an error there is an error fine guys so now i think our coding part is almost complete so it's time to run the app and see is it working or not fine so i will open this firebase database you can see that this is our document this is our firestore database fine so guys if you will uh, if in your app you see the action bar so what you have to do is you have to simply open this manifest file and uh, you have to add this line here so you can see that this is privacy activity and here I have added this no action bar fine so you have to add it and then in your app there will be no action bar fine 
so after this guys uh, what here you have to do is uh, simply choose a value so now you can see that it is public so i will choose private and then guys when i will click on the button save status so you can see that the status is updated and the value here is now private fine and uh, when you will again open the activity next time so now i will go back and then i will come back so here you can see that it is showing private fine so it is retrieving the data so you can see that we are able to update the account status fine so guys uh, you can see that our app is working pretty fine so if you like this video so please like share and subscribe my channel and uh, guys one more thing that i want to tell you is that uh, now you can follow us on kiora yeah so there you can follow me and also guys uh, you can post the images of your error so in case that if i'm not able to reply so any other person who knows the answer who knows the solution can reply to your problem fine so it will be better if you will follow our space on uh, kiora and then you can post pictures of your errors and uh, anything any query related about android development you can ask there fine guys and uh, in next video we will work on this uh, question asking activity fine so make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you will never miss any update thank you for watching